Hey guys, what's going on? Spipperix here, back for another LEGO video, and today we're going to be unboxing this large LEGO mystery box, which supposedly contains 52 LEGO Ninjago minifigures. I bought this on eBay a few weeks ago, and honestly, the minifigures inside this box are a mystery for myself included, as the seller only provided pictures of the minifigures in a huge pile, so I didn't get to see all of them. However, I was intrigued by a specific set of Ninjago minifigures that I could see from the pictures, which is why I decided to buy this lot so be sure to stick around for this entire video to see all of the Ninjago minifigures and let's go ahead and check them out. Alright, so here is this huge bag of LEGO Ninjago minifigures. Now, I'm not sure how many duplicates are in here. Honestly, like I said, the seller just kind of had a picture of a big pile of Ninjago minifigures. And uh, I always like buying, you know, mystery sort of packages where I'm not exactly sure what I'm getting. Uh, but there are a few minifigures right off the bat that we can see, like Air Jitsu J, which is a good sign. Evil Wu also right here. So I think the best way to approach this pack here of minifigures is to simply dump it out so we can easily examine what we have inside this haul. I think that's the best option. And also, after we check out all of these figures, let me know down below which one is your favorite with a comment. All right, let's go ahead and dump these out and check them out a little bit closer. We may as well start off with Master Wu as we spotted him in the baggie. He's from the rebooted season of Ninjago and obviously came in the Nindroid Mech Dragon set. I think this is probably one of my favorite versions of Sensei Wu or Master Wu that we have ever gotten for Ninjago. Very cool. And then obviously the other one we saw was uh, Air Jitsu J. All right, let's move into some new ones here. Looks like we have a Constricti member from the Serpentine season of Ninjago. This is Snike from the Constricti tribe. Very cool, got some nice orange and gray accents on that guy. Obviously, you guys probably spotted that it looks like we got a Pythor. Now, this is a good pickup. At first, I thought maybe it was the one back from 2012, the original Pythor pretty much. But alas, it does not appear to be. It appears to be the one from Legacy. But nonetheless, still really cool to be getting a Serpentine General, especially Pythor, in this pack of figures. Here's a very recent minifigure, in fact. This is Digi Kai from Season 12 of Ninjago. It'll be interesting to see which seasons we get the most minifigures from. Because obviously, I mean, I believe this would be, you know, a LEGO collector's, you know, collection of Ninjago figures. And you decide to sell them all as just one big lot. At least that's what I'm kind of assuming based on uh, the description of the listing and exactly how it was all laid out and that sort of thing. This is the Wu from the Possession Season of Ninjago from his dragon, the Master Wu dragon. Really cool. Looks like we have the Golden Ninja from Ninjago Legacy. Always awesome to get more Golden Ninja minifigures. One of my favorites. Here it looks like, who is this? This is Gultar, I believe. Is that how you pronounce it? From the Possession Season. A ghost. I love this piece right here. Really awesome scythe that also came with it. I wasn't expecting to have any accessories with these minifigures, so any of them that have any sort of weapon or any accessory with them really is a good plus that, you know, nice bonus I wasn't really expecting. Like I said, the only pictures, you know, was really just one big heap of minifigures, and so I could really only spy out as many were showing from the very top there. So obviously we have General Vex here from Season 11 of Ninjago with that semi-transparent arm or translucent arm. Really cool. These are some of my favorite like armor pieces I think that LEGO has made for villains of Ninjago. I think they look really nice. Uh, oh wait a second, this is not a Ninjago minifigure, is this? Huh, interesting. This is a LEGO Nexonites minifigure. That is definitely not Ninjago. Okay, so they said there were 52 Ninjago minifigures, uh, maybe only 51 now, who knows, that's okay I guess. Uh, Bucko, this was a pretty common minifigure back from the Skybound season of LEGO Ninjago, the Sky Pirates obviously. Now this is one of the main minifigures that in the end convinced me to purchase this collection of Ninjago minifigures. This is Kabuki Nia, arguably one of the rarest and most valuable Ninjago minifigures that LEGO has produced. I love the side arm printing there on this figure, but basically she came in that exclusive Bricktober set to Toys R Us stores. So very rare sort of set of four minifigures. And I saw a few of them, I saw three of the four of them in this lot and that's why I decided to buy this. So, we'll have to see if the fourth one's there. But anyways, really cool. I love the fan print as well. And I don't have any of the Bricktober Ninjago minifigures, in fact. I don't have either of them. There are two different sets that has been produced for them. We have Kendo Cole here. That's a pretty retro minifigure. That's very cool to see. Oh, wait, we got another one back here. Kendo Kai. And, of course, this torso and leg print here is from the original versions of the Ninja that debuted in 2011. So, very cool. Here's a more recent minifigure. We have one of the red visors. 
And next up here, we have one of the original Skullkin. This is Cruncha. Now, this, I think, is the far superior version of Cruncha when compared to the Legacy version. Oh, gosh. Yeah, those Skullkin, like, those cannot compare to this original version here. Same with, like, Knuckle and Whiplash. All the original Skullkin, I think, with the larger heads here, this very large armor on here as well, I think are just far superior than uh, the ones in Legacy, at least that's my opinion. I saw this one down here is from that Bricktober pack as well. This is the Sons of Garmadon uh, Warrior with the like aluminum baseball bat, which is a really cool piece, honestly. I don't have one of these pieces in my collection, that, so that's cool, at least in this color, I should say. He's got the crazy mohawk on there, some good printing as well. Not necessarily the best one, in my opinion, out of all of the Bricktober ones, but nonetheless, really cool to add since I didn't have him. I, I do have a lot of this minifigure, though. Zane ZX... Yeah, he's pretty much everywhere back in 2012, and since I collected most of those sets, uh, like if you if you were to draw a graph of how many sets I collected from each season of Ninjago, 2012 and 2011 would be like off the chart pretty much. I collected almost all the sets back then. Uh, here's the classic Nia. All right, I think she came in what her spinner back in the day in 2011, as well as Garmadon's Dark Fortress. This is a cool minifigure, basically the original Nia minifigure. I think she got a double side face. Yep. She does. No back printing, though. Here is Possession J. I think the Possession Season Ninja are really underrated. I mean, just look at these guys. The black contrast with the color of the ninja looks just so well. I think these are some of the most underrated Ninjago suits for the ninja. At least that's, in, that's my opinion, but that's kind of what I'm thinking on those. Uh, we got Klaus here. So yeah, we have Klaus with both of the energy discs. Now, I'm not exactly sure which set this came in. In fact... You know, I think it came in one of those, like, Ninjago foil packs. Was it one of those foil packs? I don't really know. Like I said, I'm in, I'm in the United States, so uh, those foil packs really didn't start coming out here officially until, like, uh, honestly, like, the Ninjago movie, I think, around that time. This is Frackjaw. I definitely had this guy. This was my first, I guess you could say, first Ninjago minifigure, along with the original J from the starter set back in the day. The starter spinner set back from 2011. Super awesome minifigure. Lots of nostalgia behind this guy. For me especially. Alright, we got Kai DX here. Very cool. I love the printing there on the torso of this minifigure and that dragon. Speaking of which, here is another Kai minifigure. This is just an original one back from 2011. Just basically the face of Ninjago back in the day. All those boxes that had, you know, Kai's face kind of from this point up. So, very cool minifigure. This is basically, you know, what Ninjago was back in the day. It's just all revolving around this Kai minifigure right here. And, uh, wait a second, we got another Kai DX. Alright, we got a Kai minifigure run. Three in a row here we're looking at. Another Kai DX. Like I said, this is really cool. Actually, here on the back, if you guys don't have any of these minifigures, look at that. It has their logo and then the name underneath. So That's something really cool about these DX minifigures that I really liked. Uh, let's see what we got. We got Okino from Season 12 of Lego Ninjago. This guy came in the Gamer's Mart, of course. You guys probably all have that set, or a lot of you guys probably have that set by now. Cool minifigure, though. I like this hairpiece that they use for Unigami and Okino here. Let's see what else we got. I see the name on the back. I saw J. So I knew that this was a DX minifigure for J. This is my favorite DX minifigure, actually. We got the Nunchucks of Lightning, which is a cool plus. Obviously, Jay's original golden weapon, so very cool. I like all the DX Ninja and how the dragon is actually different on all of them. If you line them all up, you'll notice that they're different. Garmadon, all four arms. Aha, yeah, let's go. Awesome. I love Garmadon minifigure, especially with the extra set of arms. This one is, I think, based on this printing down here, this is the one from 2012. This is the one that came in like the Great Devourer set and uh, maybe another set. I'm, I'm, I could be mistaken on that. This is definitely the original one, I believe. So that's cool. And I saw there was another Garmadon over here, so we may as well check out this guy. Yeah, this is the original one. So this individual who was collecting Ninjago minifigures definitely was a big fan back in the early days and then kind of seemed like they picked up some sets, you know, like we got that Digi Kai and uh, Akino and stuff. They picked up some of those sets from Season 12. Uh, but they definitely collected a lot back in the day, the really, really early days of Ninjago, especially with this original Garmadon there. Legacy Lloyd. We have a Nindroid here. Pretty cool. There's another Legacy 
There are a lot of legacy, but that makes a lot of sense, right? I mean, I mean, you guys know that I really love the legacy sets because you know they're they're very nostalgic, right? This one here has a little bit of damage. That's unfortunate, but I mean, they're minifigures, right? So what are you supposed to do with them? You're supposed to play with them, obviously. They're Lego after all. So I'm not complaining about that. I have I have a, quite a few cold Z-Hexes anyways. This is a cool figure, though. Look at that. We got another Air Jitsu minifigure, Air Jitsu Kai. Very cool. Now, I realize I just cut myself off whenever I was talking about the legacy sets, but basically, I really liked the legacy sets because I was so nostalgic of the original sets back from like 2011, 2012, right? And so since this collector here appears to have collected a lot of sets back from the early days of Ninjago, it makes sense that there's a lot of uh, legacy minifigures as well because he probably was very interested in those legacy sets as was I. Here's Forbidden Spinjitzu Nia. She's one of the more rare Forbidden Spinjitzu minifigures from Season 13 as she didn't have a spinner that came along with her. So pretty cool. She only came in one set as well, I believe, just similar to the uh, Cole minifigure. We got another Nindroid or Nindroid drone. I think these were officially called just very simplistic figures, but still some cool printing on them nonetheless. And uh, wait a second. Okay, we got... All right, now I'm excited about this guy. We got Cyrus Borg. Now, crazy enough... I never got this minifigure. I never bought the set because I just I didn't really like it. It was almost like a double bike set. And I, I still, you know, even back in the day, wasn't a big fan of those sets. Oh, gosh. But this is an awesome minifigure because of this piece up here. Look at that. That is awesome. It goes over the head of this minifigure. That's a cool minifigure. I'm, I'm really happy. I'm surprised, honestly. I never got this minifigure up until this point. So that's really cool. Uh, okay, wait a second. We. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh... Another non-Ninjago minifigure. I mean, I guess that's kind of what, you know, to be expected, right? Every once in a while, maybe you'll get some that aren't exactly what you thought was going to be in the order. But, I mean, hey, it's the main character from Lego Chima. I know a lot of Ninjago fans were also Chima fans. Or you may have absolutely hated it. I don't know. There's kind of like two sides, right? You either really liked it or you, you didn't. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got... Wait a second. Is this the second one? Hold up. Yes, it certainly is. Two Golden Ninja from Ninjago Legacy. That's interesting. That's a pretty good duplicate to have, though, honestly. I'm not complaining about that one. All right. Nice. We got this. Wait a sec. Okay, this is, the, this is the other minifigure that I didn't see from the pictures. So I believe that means that every single one from that Bricktober set is actually in this collection. That's awesome. This is the uh, a Harumi minifigure, basically, with the Oni Mask of Hatred, I believe. Yes, this is Hatred here. Really cool minifigure, though. Very rare as well. Very cool, very cool. We got a uh, Wraith minifigure. I believe that's this guy, right? Wraith. Cool. We got another Ghost from the Possession Season of Lego Ninjago. And since we just talked about that Bricktober, we may as well conclude it. This was the fourth minifigure of the bunch. This is Future J. That is an awesome figure. I've been wanting this figure for so long, but I just assume that at some point... You know, I'd be able to get them in some sort of big lot like this, right? Instead of buying the super expensive pack by itself with all four minifigures. Look at that. That's an awesome minifigure. All right. Oh, wait, wait. We got a Spitta. We got a Spitta, ladies and gentlemen. We got a Spitta minifigure. Let's go. Yes. A Spitta minifigure. I did not see this guy in the pictures either. He must have been like buried underneath or something. Awesome. Can't have too many Spitta minifigures. We're down to our last six minifigures. We have Avatar Kai here. A Slithera minifigure from the Hypnobri tribe. If you guys watched the episodes, you'll know that this guy used to be the general of the Hypnobri before Scales took over. Very cool. I love the detailing on the Serpentine. We got Chopov, one of the original Skulkin back from 2011. Cool. JZX with the armor piece here. We've gotten a few other ZX Ninja in this lot that don't have the armor piece. That's cool to see. And we got two more minifigures, and they're both Serpentine. Let's go. Love Serpentine minifigures. As you guys know, Spitta is obviously a Serpentine. We got Spitta's teammate here, our friend pretty much, from the Venomari tribe. We got Lizaru. Cool minifigure. Always thought this guy had a weird name, Lizaru. Just say that. That's... That's a kind of funny name, but he's got some, like, crazy spikes on him on the very top of his head. And then... I like to call this guy Spitta's long-lost cousin. But yeah, I refer to this guy as Spitta's long-lost cousin just because they have the same head mold there, but obviously different printing and different tribes. 
Well, I think that was an extremely successful unboxing, but let me know down below which one of these minifigures is your favorite. I think mine has got to be this future J minifigure, but let me know yours down below. I'm Spitbrick. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video coming very soon.